we fly, boys. <laughs> we finally fly, boys. As Tintin wishes to prepare a signal fire to lure in the heretics. We are to lure our foes to our position. Then we must find a means of producing a signal of purple hue. As it so happens, I once heard the tale of a trapper who dropped the height of a woolly yak into his campfire. Aside from the terrible stench, the story also described in detail how the smoke from the smothered flames was tinged a deep violet. You are a monster hunter of some note, are you not, Ixara? It should prove a trifling task for you to procure a number of heights. We may yet we may need to burn more than one herb the heretics notice our beacon. Alright. Master Alfino, you and I shall gather wood for the fire. Aye, it will take the both of us to find enough dry fuel in this frozen wasteland. Let us meet again at the Dreaming Dragon with the fruits of our labor. A hey, green boy, let's go. I left Ishkar on a mission of noble purpose, and now here I am scrabbling for sticks in the snow. How can my hands be at once so numb yet so sore? Get good. That's what I do every single time, okay? Remember back in the day? You just say, you go there, you go there, you go there, I will go there. I'm gonna make crystal braves and all that. I'm doing the hard labor. Now, taste it. Get good. MGD scene. Okay, okay. It would seem that collecting firewood is a new experience for Master Alfie Note. His must have been a privileged upbringing. A very privileged. Let me tell you that. Ahem. Have you the heights we need? Yep, we got two of these. Okay, let's see. We're gonna meet Iceheart though. Because I see the, the, the picture in the quest before. <clears throat> okay. やはりあなた方だったか。どうか仲間の比例を許してほしい。私を追う理由を聞かせてもらえるだろうか。Devs always making spoilers in game. <laughs> now I see the point why they use the question mark on the top up on the uh, MSQ thing up here. <laughs> uh, uh, we wish to stop Nidhogg's attack on Yushka. We wish to speak with you. Let's get to the point. So, Dragon's of Shingun will tome to me. Of course, it's probably not gonna work, but. Okay, we're gonna meet the うん。オッケー。1200年もの遥か昔。エレゼン族の一団がクルザスの地にやってきた。that's when the <coughs> happened. カノジョは高い知性と理性を持つ竜と対話する中で七大天竜の一翼であるセリュフレースベルグと出会い主の違いを超えてカノ竜を愛するようになっただが人の命は竜のそれに比べてはるかに短いどんなに長く生きようと人は百年も住めば死ぬ。一方で龍は千年万年の時を生きる。芝の愛を受け入れたフレースベルグも苦悩した。やがて死が二人を分かつという現実に。みや。そして芝は懇願したのだ。自分を喰らってほしいと。
魂となって永遠に寄り添うためにかくして芝の魂はフレースベルグに宿りこれを知ったドラゴン族と人とは互いを認め融和への道を歩んでいったうん二つの種族は協力しこの地に美しい国を築いたしかし竜の目に満ちた力は人の心を惑わせこの蜜月関係はわずか200年足らずで終焉を迎える Of course, it has to be the, the people. Hmm. Okay. Of course, it's, it has to be the greed and lust for powers and etc. etc. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. 人の裏切りにより目を失ったニーズヘッグとその眷属。おいざとファーストドラグン。かの竜の目的は奪われた目の奪還だろう。それが叶わぬ限り対話に応じるとは思えないが。いや、that's definitely from the first Azur Dragoon。それは違うな。はお前の語る過去が。真実かどうかは別として確かに以前ニーズヘックは竜の目を狙っていた、okay. だからこそ俺は危険を承知の上で竜の目を持ち出し都市を離れて各地を転々としていたのだ、okay. やつをコートから引き離すためになあっそっそっそっそっ I mean, it's a dragon eye, I mean, obviously. Big pockets. Kore made Yatsua, Stioni or even Nerai Tsukata. Danga, Coconic and Nerai or Ishigar Doni Kaeta. So Kony a Dakan Sveki Mega Naikoto, Shorty no Wedeta. Huh. So we're just gonna give it to Ice Heart? Koto, Kogeki no Ryuga. 別にあるというのかそれにやつの像は目を奪還したとしても晴れまいこの竜の目を通じて俺に伝わる暗い感情はもはや狂気と呼ばれるほどのものだうんいや I can see why just like they are been added like they ニーズヘッグとの対話が絶望的だとして、セリュー、フレースベルグならばどうだろう。Well then! イシュガルド進行に加担していないことを考えると、今も融和を望んでいる可能性はないだろうか。Exactly! Also, we have i s a r あくまでも争いを止めると。ならば、私も共に行こう。Perfect! かつて私がフレースベルグと開港した地礼法ソームアルに抱かれし竜の領域ドラバニアかの竜はその航空に広がる雲海に進まうおおガッおおガッ What the heck happened here? Oh, is the crystal back? Well then! Okay! That's one out of six. Heck yeah! どうした大丈夫かい Just nervous, but we, we're gonna talk to Dragon. しないでくれよ。さあ、行こう
ドラバニアは西の山を越えた先だ I can see why. Oh god, here comes Midgar Stormer. It is enough. Shush, shush. Shush, shush, just go back. It's enough. Just go back. <laughs> there you go. Just go back. <laughs> Freaking mid car server, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. So I can totally see why uh, Nidhogg kind of. Well, not really forget or like just doesn't care anymore at this point. I feel like that's what happened. Because they. You know, Dr Dravania and Ishkar has been at war for years now. So, the, you know, some people said, like, they've been at war and then they forgot what they fight. What they actually fighting for is actually real because they've been at it for years. To the point of, like, I don't even remember why we fought, but we just keep at it with each other, you know what I mean? So... Rakesh, when I prefer the Ian voice. Okay. <laughs> Alright. And also, it's kind of weird, too, because me, we and Iceheart before, like, we've been at each other's throat, right? We, we try to kill each other. But now, just be like, yeah, I'll take, I'll take to the, my husband, though, right there. You know? This is I. This I. We'll meet, we'll meet my husband, though. We can talk. So, yeah. Midgar isn't God. <laughs> I mean, I think it is though. <laughs> like, why in the heck did you just did you suddenly enforce yourself to me now? You know what I mean? Like, just stay there. <laughs> You're too old for this. All right, we can fly now, boys. Hoo yeah, me. We fly now, dude. Let's go. Alright, I'll find out. We journey to the homeland of dragons, etc. The scholar within me burns to see the sights I have but read about, as does the child within me, I confess. You are a child! What are you talking about? <laughs> Be on your guard, warrior of light. With the mistress of the heretics as our guide, we may yet find that we are being led to our graves. Isail. Lady Iceheart stands ready to lead you and your companion Sir Travania. Mm. Okay. Accept. You are Ixera, yes? Pray address me as Isail if you wish. This passing strange, is it not? That fate should bring us together thus. I just said that too. <laughs> Never did I think to walk alongside the warrior of light. But history is full of such unexpected alliances. Shall we make our way into Dravania then? The chill of the western highlands is unrelenting, and I would sooner be under the sheltering canopy of the Chocopo forest. I literally just said that. We've been each other throat before, but now I'd be like, eh, we're chill. The nonplussed uh, noblewoman is looking up into the parapets with a panicked expression. Oh my baby, my poor poor baby, how did you get up there? Sob, oh whatever shall I do, it's so high up, please somebody do something. You'll help me, won't you? Please, I promise you'll be repaid. Please save my poor kitty. Not in real life, not in game. Cat is always stuck on high places like this. I just don't get it. <laughs> I just don't get it. The suspiciously quarrel like kitten pounces into your arms. Literally kitty quest, exactly. If it is a Mikote that's, that's, that's stuck up there, then sure, I'll, I'll gladly help them. Help them. So, <laughs> do, you, do you have her? Do you have my dear dear kitty? There you go. Yo! <laughs> there you are, you silly little thing. You had me so worried. What? You think my dear little kitty isn't really a cat? She is, a re she is really a coerel? Yeah.
Hahaha, <laughs> to think I almost believe you for a second there. My dear little kitty isn't some man-eating monster. Just look at her. Look how cute she is. Okay, I guess. <laughs> what is that quest? Okay. Thank you for the XP and gill, I guess. <laughs> right, Jenna Gwynard. Jenna Gwynard appears to have inform information on your next symposium. Malefic Mastery. Nice. Now I have a little bit more damage. 160 only. <laughs> Man. Alright, next. The Fault went and outdid themselves. The location for our next symposium, the Confectory, a makeshift camp for a band of bickering knights. I've spoken at length with Lady Laviva about how we might handle this second inconvenience so as not to meet the same fate we did in Falcon's Nest. I fear the worst, but the lady believes that we may be approaching this all wrong, that we should embrace the situation and use it to our advantage. Exactly. I believe she is merely unaccustomed to the thin alpine air and her wits are not in order. Bruh, you- uh, She is right, you are wrong. <laughs> Perchance we should make for the camp and see for ourselves. Jenny Quinard, I arrived not moments ago to find this. What in the furious name has happened here? Oh. Tread lightly, Ixara. This is not the work of bandits. Quimperane's hurts were dealt by the Convictors. You were assaulted by the men sworn to protect us? This is madness. The fault led the knights to believe that the that a party of astrologians would be arriving to aid them in scrying the location of the Horde's next attack. They took out their frustra frustration on poor Quimperane. When they learned I can foretell the whims of a dragon about as well as I can those of Genequinard. But no, we must not let this discourage us. If words have no weight with this man, let then let our magics do the speaking. Sure. So what are we gonna do? Aspected benefiction. Okay. But you are an astrologian. You can't heal people. That's not what astrologians do. Don't tell me how to do things. What? <laughs> it's like pretty much saying, you know, Oh, you are, you are a house builder. You can't cook. You are not supposed to cook. Like, bro, that's not how wor how the world works. <laughs> what you mean about that? The pain, it's gone. How did you... Not even a thanks. These people. I helped you guys before, okay? I'm doing side quests in this area to help you guys. What do you mean? My wounds. It is as if they were never there. Wait, who's going to believe that I slew a dragon if I happen the wounds to show for it? I don't know whether to thank you or slit your throat. Though I suppose I wouldn't be able to do either if, I, if you hadn't healed me with those queer magics. So this day, I see fit to forgive you. Star power break. Exactly, me. Money. Brother. Oh my. Oh, these people. Close your eyes. Soon it will all be over. Ah, better, better. Oh, you're saying that? <laughs> you're saying that to yourself. <laughs> Freaking Jenna Queen Art, dude. Dragons are as when even as NPC. <laughs> La Viva. Oh, man. At least you bow. You. Don't tell me it's that girl again. Yep. I freaking knew it. Of course. <laughs> what is wrong, Leviva? Have you tapped too deeply into your mental reserves? Perhaps you should take a moment of respite. That blood is not the... Knights. Ah, the loyal lapdog. Without you to state the obvious, where where would your masters be, pray tell? <clears throat> you again? 
one might think these markings will betray my identity, but you Eorzeans have a singular capacity to look without seeing. I am amazed you are not constantly wandering into bonfires or, or off cliffs. I have grown weary of this masquerade, and I am done with entrusting my fate to this realm's plundering mercenaries. My name is Sally, and I am here to take the Lady Laviva into custody so that she can be transported back to Charlotte and tried for her crimes. Taken into custody? On whose authority? You are here without permission of the forum, performing acts which amount to treason. Your grandfather has already been detained and questioned. I'm giving you the opportunity to turn, to turn yourself in and put an end to this farce once and for all. Do as I say and no one will be harmed, yourself included, Lady Laviva. But Lady Laviva, I thought you and your grandfather were dispatched on an official expedition. It seems that Lafifa has not told you everything. Did you know that it was her father who was killed nearly 15 summer past? Huh? 15 summers past, Jenny Quinard. Your adventurer friend seems already to have put two and two together. Why she didn't tell you earlier? I cannot fathom. Wait. Her father is dead? What else are they leaving you out of, Genequinard? Did during there? I. But silence! Yeah, let's go. This is my final warning. When you see me again, you will either give yourself up or you will die at my plate. Think on that, Laviva. Lady Lafifa's wound is deep. I do not believe I can heal it on my own. Let me your aid. That, oh my god. <laughs> That's why you go out and train, Jenny Quinard. Jesus. <laughs> okay, expected benefit. There you go. Thank you, my friend. For someone who claims she was hired to bring me back to Shala, and her aim was quite true. Lady Laviva, this Sally claimed that you are not here with the blessing of the Forum. Is this so? Why did you not see fit to mention this? My grandfather knew the Forum would never allow us to come to Ishgard, and that their contemplation over the matter was merely a tactic to stall and discourage us. The stars had spoken to my grandfather, and he was not about to turn a deaf ear to them. I kept silence because I did not wish to let the petty polit politicking of men thousands of moms to the north stand in the way of our dream. Our dream to spread the world of Charlene. So Hold on a minute. Charlene located in the north of Eorzea? So what Lahabria means is actually Charlene then. If that's, if that's the case. I mean, it could be still in Ishgard with the, with the bishop and all that. But... The petty politicking of men, thousands of moms to the north, stand in the way of our dream. Our dream to spread the word of Sharla and astrology. Yeah. Dude, if this is gonna be Sharla and that would be crazy. They've been planting the seed in Sharlayan. And such was my father's dream, until he was killed for it by close-minded peasants. <clears throat> but the Rufi never once spoke ill of those he wished to enlighten. Even at this end, at his end. How do you know my father's name? Your father and I became close friends when I was in Charlayan. When the Exodus forced me to return home, he asked if he could accompany me, saying that he wished to try and convince those who once believed in the star's power to look to the skies again. And we did for several moons. My countrymen were deeply skeptical and slow to warm to the idea of heathen magics. Some were even rude. But he never gave up on them, right up until he was. Okay. Oh, wow. That's a connection. I was there during your father's last moments. I heard a commotion come from his room late one night and went in to check, only to find him bleeding and slumped over his diary, which he was writing when he was attacked. With his last strength, he handed me the diary and asked that I do not blame my people and that I continue our work. I believe this belongs with you now. Need Etherpod Sage. <laughs> I do not know if I can forgive those who killed my father. I do not expect you to forgive us yet, but 
but knowing that he did, even at the moment of his death, perhaps will help you one day understand. You have always reminded me of Rufin, even before I knew he was your father. Your passion for your discipline equals his own, or may even exceed it. Father, did you know what fate awaited you in this realm? Did you see all this? Did the stars have you merely paved the way for me? If they did, then I shall not allow anyone to stand in your way. You are right, good man. And so I shall allow this breach of etiquette. But if you fail to address Lady Lefifa properly again, I'll have you spit shining the Priffy back at Turandir Manor. I'll leave him be Genequinon. Without Quimprain here, I'd have been tied up and shipped back to the old world moons ago. The stars have him here with me. He is not going anywhere. And neither am I. I am done with symposiums. That is not what my father wanted. He came here not to speak of astrology. He came here to use it. And so that is what I shall do. There are still many convictors who can benefit from this magics. And what a better way to convince people of your greatness than by ensuring they remain alive long enough to sing your praises. Exactly! Jane, will you tell me of my father? I will be delighted, my lady. Unless that is you mean now, as I have a prior engagement with a pair of lovely baroness from House Zemail and I would not wish to keep them waiting. Bruh, are you serious? <laughs> are you serious right now? Alright. Bath and sleep for moi. Have fun. Thank you so much for dropping by, Green Bane. Enjoy your sleep tonight. Have a wonderful sleep. And I'll see ya when I see ya. Man, this job quest is really something else. And the connection, dude. A prior arrangement. Of course he has. I suppose my father's journal will have to suffice until then. Okay, let's go back to Ishgard again. Dang, dude. That's a story. Do you think that my old friend Rufin may have seen what grim fate awaited him in Ishgard, but chose to come anyway, knowing that it would inspire both me and his daughter? God, sometimes these celestial machinations are simply too grand in scope to grasp. However, if it is as we believe, then we must, as Quimperain so bluntly stated, make sure that not disrupt us on our path to that fate. Perhaps it is time I reveal to you a more powerful form of Malefic, so that you might be better prepared for the trials that are to follow. Uh, that furrow upon your bro suggests you could have used this spell earlier in your training. In retrospect, I would be inclined to agree. Haha. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Alright, one more level and we get to 56. Next job quest. We got Malefic 2. Let's go, dude. Nice. <clears throat> A little bit more oomph in our damage now. Yeah, me. Yeah, me. Let's go. Ardenado Shotairiku, Tozai Nitranaku, Eorzea no Sebone, Abarasia Samyak, Leho, Som Aru, Augimir Konotiva, Dragon Zok no Honkoch Toste Shirale. Okay. オッケー。みんな、そのそらを支配する領域に冒険者たちは足を踏み入れるのだった。おお、レッツチョコボス。うー、レッツゴーロッキン。えい。レッツゴーロッキン。オッケー。イセル、アルフィノート、エスティニア
the wild chocobos. Tail Feather was built by hunter who, hunters who make their living capturing and selling the beasts. Their leader, Mar Marchacham, is an acquaintance of mine. Being a gregarious sort, he will no doubt welcome our arrival, and he will also possess more recent knowledge of the road we seek to travel. I trust there are no objections. Nope. Only to this ceaseless chatter. If we are to meet this acquaintance of yours, let us do it before Ishgard burns. <laughs> you know, Estinian is right. There's the impending doom that's still going on right now, so... March champ. Well, tan my hide and call me Leatherface. We have visitors. Oh ho, and if it ain't the lovely e sale, it's been too long, girl. That it has, March Champ, that it has. My companions and I are on the on a pilgrimage to some all. Might we stay in Tail Feather a while and prepare for the next leg of our journey? Of course, of course. Stay as long as you like. In fact, I wouldn't suggest leaving the forest at all. The dragons have been absolutely bleed and murderous of late. Forgive me, sir, but I am not sure I understand. Do the dragons not bother you here in the forest? Bother us? Did he still not explain things to you, boy? You've seen them towering kalem trees all about, haven't you? If you were flying above the canopy, you'd barely be able to see ground. And as you would expect, the local wildlife's canny enough to stay hidden beneath the leaves, which is why the dragons do their hunting elsewhere, and we can do ours in peace. I see. Thank you for the explanation. You're welcome now. I... Now, you're welcome. Now, I know it won't stop Isail here, but dragons ain't the only things you'll need to keep an eye out for, especially if you're set on heading west. Okay... Give me that. Okay, now let me check. We got a couple quests here, which is will. Oh, this one is definitely the eighth, right? Yes, that's a yes. Lopart is looking for someone to watch over a novice hunter. Well, if it isn't the famed Ixeras, Ixera everyone's been going on about, word travels fast in a camp this small. Say, could you lend me your ear for a bit? Thanks for keeping this lonely hunter company. Any road, since you were new around here, I thought you might want to know about this place and its denizens. You see, the hunters of Tail Feather make their way by catching the wild chocobos wandering around these forests and selling them to the renowned Ishgardian trainers. You might think us hunters have the easy way, easy end of the deal, but you change your mind quick enough the first time a dragon breathes down your neck. Add to that, all the other hungry beasts looking for an easy meal, and you'd be right to doubt the sanity of this whole camp. That's why most hunters in the Dravanian forelands are either them that are just trying to escape their pitiful lives back home, or them that are crazy enough to get enjoyment from risking their necks every day. Of course, you can't forget those that are just here for a quick bucket full of kill, chasing the golden chocobo, so to speak. The promise of riches brings new blood from all of over Eorzea, ain't that right, Kianta? You got that right. I'm here to back myself the biggest chocobo Eorzea's ever seen. Thing is, chocobo hunting is generally done in pairs, and Kianta here, having never trapped an animal herself, is in need of a partner. I know you've got some experience hunting and all manner of beasts, so I'm asking you to help her out until I find someone suitable. I cannot thank you enough, Ixara. Kianta's got some ideas for her first hunt. Speak to her and she'll, she'll tell you about all about them. Sure. Alright. Finally, a partner. Now we can have we can be real hunters. Let's not keep those birds waiting. The sun will be simple. All we have to do is lure a chocobo out with these kishel greens. There's only one problem. Wild chocobos have a keen sense of smell and won't come near a trap if they catch even a whiff of a hunter's scent. But fret not, for I have a plan. Just the other day, I came across some mushrooms whose, whose reek I can still smell. If we use them to hide our scent, those chocobos will be none the wiser. I'll take care of arranging the gishal greens for the trap, and I need my partner, that's you, to go and pick that pungent fungus for me. It seems the hunters call the mushroom Chandler's Wick. 
and about 5 or so should do the trick. Just head out east of Tailfeather for a bit and use your nose to guide you the rest of the way. Sure. Well, paint me yellow and call me a chocobo. That's mill sightseeing log you've got there. <clears throat> yeah. Um, forgive me, I got carried away for a moment. I am Caster Ironheart, cousin to Millith F, and an explorer of sorts, like most of my extended family. When I last spoke with Millith, she told me of an adventurer with a keen case of wanderlust, an adventurer that I know now to be you. What say you lend me your lock for a moment? Don't worry, I won't eat it or anything. There, there, and yes, there. That should do it, I reckon. It's no secret that Ishgard is home to some of the most remarkable sites in our realm. Mind you, I've not seen them all myself, but I certainly know where they might be found. And now so do you, thanks to the notes and rumors I've seen fit to jot down in your sightseeing log. Yes, scores of stunning fistas are just waiting to be discovered. Your legs will not carry you to all of them though. Should you find a particular spot out of reach, you might consider taking to the skies atop a black feathered bird. Oh ho, but I if but if I were to say more, I would be robbing you of the joy of discovering this spectacular view for yourself. Godspeed, my fellow explorer, and may this moment mark the beginning of our of a tour of wonder. Nice. Heaven's born entries have been added to your sightseeing log. You must be level 50 or above to record Heaven's Word Vistas. Travel to the location indicated and fulfill the necessary conditions, and you will complete the entry for that Vista. Earning experience points in the process. Use your wits and the notes provided by Caster to identify these stunning sights and the proper way to appreciate them, and see Ishgard as only the greatest explorers have seen er, seen her. All right. Well, I thought it was the Aether Current, but oh well. Fear Game seems to have chocobos in his mind. Chocobo hunting isn't as easy as it looks. Those birds are too clever by half. I've designed some new traps though, though that I set up around Tail Feather a few days ago. Might be about time to check them. Think you could do that for me? There are two of them, one upstream of the Willorm River and one out to the east of Tail Feather. All you really need to do is head out there to see if they have ca caught ever anything. Sure. Ah, so the chocobo's made off with the bait without springing the traps. Looks like I've come up empty handed again. I half expected that would happen. That's why I dug pits, the pits near the trap in the traps in hopes of catching one of guard. Uh, sorry, guess I forgot to mention that part. Looks like both you and the chocobos managed to get past them on your own, though. <laughs> what you mean, bro? Truth be told, this isn't the first time I've been outwitted by a chocobo. I've gotten more trap designs in the works, and I plan to test them out soon. Stop by again if you feel like joining in. Say nothing, partner. Judging by your charming order, you've already picked the mushrooms we need. Yep, we got five of them. I don't know why you need so many of these. Yes, these are the- Oh my gods, the stench is even worse up close here. I'll put them in my bag before the whole camp's righteous. Alright, partner, looks like I have the un unenviable job of mixing this mushrooms with the gizzle, gizzle greens. Say, why don't you tell Lopart what a good team we make? I mean... <laughs> Sure, I guess. What in the seven hells she has she have you do, Sniff? She's gonna mask your scent with that? Can't say anything about how wise that plan is, but it sure is interesting. As I'm sure you've gathered from all the tail and ears, Kianta's, uh, Kianta's a Mikote and Huntin's in their blood. Could be this plan might actually work? Any anyway, road, it seems you, you two are getting along better than I could have hoped. Keep on, keep on with her, and I'll keep asking around for anyone lacking a partner. Oh. Okay, it looks like Lopar has some good news for you. Mm, cool, Got some more gold, Gail. Extra, the whole camp is in a hubbub. Seems a lone chocobo has been sighted wandering around not too far south, waiting for a pair of hunters to come snatch it up. An easy target will make the perfect first turn for Kianta. Now, don't go thinking this bird will just walk right into your traps. Kianta still has green as they come. Go with her and lend her a hand before she misses out on her first catch. You heard Lopart, we are... What are you waiting for, partner? That chocobo is not gonna catch itself. Ah, wait, before I forgot. Aha! This is the special mixture I made out of those mushrooms and some kishol greens. Fragrant, aren't they? 
The chocobos are we are aiming to nap uh, spin nap spin sighted to the south, which means plenty of hunters that think they're clever set up traps there. Lucky for us though, I've thought one step ahead. You see, since so many hunters spin have been down south, their scent will be as plain to the bird as the mushroom is to us. Now, if I was a chocobo, I'd steer well clear of that place. I might even be inclined to take a slightly more dangerous route as so as to not run into any hunters. Now, if my instincts are right, that chocobo will go right through Bandersnatch territory. That's why we gotta set up our traps to the north. Brilliant idea, ain't it? I mean, it sounds. At least it sounds. <laughs> With that, don't tell me you're scared of the ba big bad Bandersnatches. Just tread lightly and we'll both come back with a new chocobo. Here, yeah, let's divide up the greens and get the get to setting up setting our traps. Once everything's set up, let's meet at the hunter's camp to the north. Good luck, partner. What took you so long? I finished setting up my trap bells ago, so are the Gishil greens in their place? Yep. I knew I could count on my partner. I hope you didn't taste any, because I put a little something extra in my Gishil greens, slipping powder. Once that chocobo falls for my trap, it'll fall into a deep sleep. Genius. Did you hear that? Was that a chocobo cry? It was over in the direction of your trap. Let's go, partner. Oh, look at that. There he is. Nice. Easy catch. Can you believe it? It's a genuine bona fide drosified chocobo. See? Hunting is easy. My plan worked perfectly. I'll take the chocobo back to Tailfeather. Part partner, could you go and tell Lopart that I'm a real hunter now? I mean, not quite, because you're hunting chocobo still. But uh, you know, you are a Mikote, so how are you? How are you and that Willy Mikote is faring? We good, we good. You don't say. Kianta actually bagged a bird. I ain't ever seen a hunter get a chocobo on their first outing. I guess what they say about Mikote is true. Can't leave you, the unsung hero, without her a bit of a praise either. If things keep going this well, then we may not even need to find a partner. Thank you. Okay. Alright, you sail. I'm glad to see Marshik Champ is doing well. Alphinode. I've read widely of the world and its wonders, yet after taking... But a few steps into the unknown, I am reminded how much I still ha I have still to discover. Right. Astinian. These hunters scrabble in the shadow of dragons for naught but the love of coin. Greed inspires courage and madness in equal measure, it seems. <laughs> you gotta hustle for somehow, I guess. Some bad news. Roger Cham is looking for a reliable pair of feet. I see you've been making the rounds getting to know the hunters in these parts. Well, how'd you like to help a real hunter? I'm overseeing three camps set out to the east, but the lazy sods ain't sent me a report in over a fortnight, and I'm too bleeding busy to be plain messenger. You look right fierce enough to get the information out of, the, out of them. It's a simple job that will earn you some coin. Can't rightly say no to that. If that tickles your fancy, then you'll need to talk to the leaders of each camp. Leo Nulf. Gunnaret and Umbert. Umbert. Hear what they have to say and get back to me when you're done. Aye, things are going well enough. Been running into a bit of trouble with those giant bugs in this woods though. Cool. Nothing out of the ordinary here. There's just the one bird that won't shut up. Haven't been able to catch a wink for all this bloody screeching. Had ourselves a bit of an incident the other day. Some fiend came stumping out of the tree line and gobbled up one of our fresh caught birds. Wasn't a damn thing we could do about it. If we're going to keep on in this area, we'll need some extra hands. You tell the chief that. Sure. So they've all got issues, but none of them thought to ask me for help. Do they think I'll bite off their heads or something? At any rate, I'd best prepare to round up the birds from each camp. Thanks again for your help, friend. Say, since you've already struck up an acquaintance with my people and all, maybe you'd be willing to lend them a hand. Seems they talk to you of their troubles readily enough. Nice, and there's more side quests over there. Okay, well, time to do those now, I guess. Leonulf is on the lookout for buzzing bugs. Except, the bugs I mentioned earlier, God's damn feather fleas, they got suckers a yum long and love the taste of chocobo blood. Been wondering what to do about them. I managed to drive them away whenever they come near our birds, but there doesn't seem to be an end to the buggers. I would go into the forest and squash them myself, but they 
that'll leave the chocobos defenseless. Say, why don't you kill a few of them in my stead? If you could put down about four or so, you'd have my thanks. I think the fleece went down easy. Aye, you are quite a bug killer. The chocobos fly into a flurry at the very sight of those blasted bugs, and it takes the better part of the day to calm them down. Thanks to you, we'll be able to sleep peacefully for a while. Cool. Glad I can help. Greenred needs help calming a distressed chocobo. By the 12, this chocobo just won't shut up. She's got no hurts as far as I can see, and a sick bird wouldn't make such a fuss, which leaves just one possibility. You hungry? I have a mind to go and verify my suspicion, but I'm not overly keen on leaving this bird while it's wailing away like this. Could attract predators. Would you mind going? Here, let me your map. I'll mark the place we caught this bird. Chances are there's a nest nearby. If you find it, note what's inside it and come back to tell me. Oh, may have some egg or something. Just as I thought, this one's about to be a mother. There's no helping it then. As fine a bird as she is, she's gotta go back to her nest. Cool. It's a rule of ours, you see. You can't catch chocobo what's brooding. Don't matter what it's the finest specimen you've ever seen or that you've been having a bad spell. Nay, whatever the circumstance, we've got to see beyond the present. Present. Elsewise, we hunters won't have much of a future. Exactly. You just don't hunt and ignore the uh, the population of said thing that you hunt. You know what I mean? You gotta. You also gotta take care of them too, so that you can keep hunting them. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of morbid still, but at least this they won't be a word called extinction. You know what I'm saying? I'm a bird. I'm a bird. <laughs> I'm a bird is in need of an adventurer to do his fighting for him. God damn it, that's the third time this week. Blasted Bender Snatchers keep snapping up the chocobos after we collect them from the traps. The blasted beasts got a taste of chocobo meat and now they won't stay away. Why, I seen three prowl nearby not a Belaga waiting for an easy meal. If you were to get rid of them, might be as I'll make it worth your while. Sure. You slew the beasts. Wonderful. Now the chocobos won't become Bandersnatch fodder no more. To be fair though, the birds are perfectly capable of fending for themselves. They only fell prey to the Bandersnatchers cause they were trapped. For that, I feel bloody awful. But thanks to you, the noble creatures won't meet such an unfitting end no more. Alright, so that's all. Now we can do... MSQ. <laughs> for real now. Marchisham. Marchisham would give you fair warning about what awaits to the west. I dare say you're wondering what could possibly be worse than the dragons, eh? Well, I'll tell you. The bloody Nath. They're what you might get if you cross an antling with a megalo crab and taught the thing how to walk on two legs. <laughs> they never used to stray far from their hives out of fear of the dragons, but they've gotten a lot more aggressive of late, sending out war parties for moms in all directions. They have even taken to harassing the Dravanians in their own lairs, if you can believe it. And when they venture into the forest, which is more and more, by the way, they certainly ain't afraid to come after my lot. I can only imagine how much worse it would be closer to the Nath's home territory. Okay, he sail. It would seem that much has changed in Dravania. The Nath were not wont to cause such strife when I lived here. You lived here? In Dravania? Aye, it was at the time following the calamity. My family was dead, my home was gone, and I had fled from the bitter cold into this lands. I knew not the paths of the forest then, and wandered out from under the protection of its bows. That was when I chanced upon Rasvalgar. He had descended from his mountain lair to hunt for food. My, ex my, uh, my exhausted mind could not content with the sight of the majestic worm, nor the vision of the past his presence visited upon me. Thankfully, Marcha Champ found my unconscious form at the edge of the trees and nursed me back to health, and in Telfair that I remained for some time. Hence your familiarity with the locals. But I interrupted you. You were saying these Nath were once a peaceful people? Peaceful would not be the most fitting description. They are a fierce fiercely territorial tribe, and any who intrude upon their domain are attacked without hesitation or quarter. Outside the borders of their homeland, however, they were rarely hostile. Indeed, we were even able to trade with them in on occasion. 
They have a changed then. What of it? We have not the time to creep through the underbrush on some roundabout route. I say we make straight for some all and crush any unruly insect we met underfoot. A more direct path then. Very well. Let us first follow the trail west out of the forest and make for the statue of the stained one. From there, we should have a fair view of the road that leads to some all. Shall we? I still, I still need to be like, you know what? Screw that. Whatever. Just, just keep going straight. You know what I mean? Easy. Let's go. Should we chance to meet Marisha Cham again? Remind me to thank him. Had he not warned us to expect the Nath, I doubt I would be standing here. Amid ruins that I would tentatively describe as Ishgardian, the style, if not quite identical, betrays a definite resemblance. There's a dragon. You have a scholar's eye, Master Alfino. This structure is, in fact, over a thousand years old. It is a remnant of the age when our ancestors and dragonkin, dragonkind lived together in peace. <laughs> you claim this as evidence of our harmonious past? I was thought that this building was constructed by heretics in honor of your Dravanian masters. This rubble inspires no such awe in me. Stubborn fool, how desperately you cling to the false teaching of your beloved Holy See. Enough, both of you. You threaten the success of our mission with this incessant squabbling. Ixara, pray reason with this too. Our goals are the same, set aside our difference for now. The truth of the past will be revealed. Uh, set aside that, uh, your difference for now. The truth of the past will be revealed. Grunt. <laughs> like, ah. Quite. Lest you forget, our goal is to prevent a war which will claim the lives of Dravanians and Ishgardians alike. If we are to accomplish this, you must learn to tolerate each other's presence. Trust in Ixera's gift. In time, the secrets of history will be brought to light. Let that be enough, Astinian. You would have me. You would have me keep my counsel until Ixera's visions confirm that confirm the truth. Very well, but bait me not. Our meeting with her Resvulger will likely provide the catalyst Ixera's gift requires, as it did mine. Let us press on. Try on. Uh, nah. Just give me all the gill. Give me all the money. Okay. Dragons in the sky and Nath upon the ground. One must needs sprout ice in the back of one's head to survive this land. These ant men are bold to bring their war to the dragon's doorstep. Mayhap we should invite them to mend the walls of Ishgard. <laughs> That'd be nice. Sure, that is. Rasfalgar. Isail wishes to survey the approach to the distance, distant towers. Spy you the three great towers to the west. Ish guardians know uh, them as at. Just hit me. Are you serious right now? Are you for real right now? Are you kidding? How in the world you trigger me all the way there? How in the world are you uh, aggro on me? That's rude. Back to Benefic. Astrodyne. Get out of here. Okay, let's. <laughs> he still wishes to survey the approach to the distant towers. Spy you the three great towers to the west. Ish guardians know them as Annex of Trine. The place serves as a ruse for Rasvelgar's lesser kindred. If we are to reach the peak of some all, then we must first beseech these dragons to open the way. But do not be disheartened. The one who leads them is a friend. Of rather more concern is this is the disposition of the Nath. Let us survey the approach to the towers and see if the path is clear. On the west. Oh, is that it? Oh. <laughs> Nanamo. <laughs> Toot seem the enemy of mine enemy is also mine enemy. The Nath are fast becoming a nuisance. They seem to plague our every step. Okay. Just as I fear, the road ahead is teeming with Nath soldiers. 
March Champ did not exaggerate then. These beastmen have grown brazen indeed if they would threaten the dragon so openly. Do they intend to assault the lair itself? I pray they do not. Mighty though my Dravanian friends are, they are yet vulnerable to the Nuts muskets. There is no route so save the one before us. Should be should the beastmen beastmen offer battle, we have no choice but to accept. Sure. Stinian. A greater dragon approaches. Alvinode. The scale of this structure is nothing short of astounding, but that is only to be expected, I suppose given the size of its occupants. I take no pleasure in killing the Nath. To us to avoid bloodshed that I agreed to join you on this journey. Well, it cannot be helped. We may proceed into the courtyard together, but leave the task of hailing its occupants to me. And keep your lance on your back, Dragoon. On my word of to the warrior of light, I shall start no fight, only finish it. <laughs> you truly are beyond salvation. Come then. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Waddle waddle. Bizobunir. Feed off near. <laughs> oh, I thought that was Restvalgar. But is he feed off near? Oh, yeah. So, he sounds like Moonbreeder for some reason. She sounds like Moonbreeder. Yeah, right? Fitofnir sounds like Moonbreeder. ふん。well これはゆえあってのこと。必要とあらば、お前の目もくり抜いてやろうか。エスティニアン、これはゆうあのための旅路だ。<笑> <必要とあらば>、<笑> いまここで小奴を喰らうのは造作もないが我らは憎しみ合ういずれにも組みしない。優和と助力を求める意志は私たち自身の言葉で偉大なる竜に伝えましょう。霊法総務ある道を開き私たちに希望を小さき者よそなたに免じ霊法への道を開いてやってもよいしかし今やグナース it's primal, isn't it? Let's get real, it's definitely a primal. Who else? What a surprise. 
ではあなたたちの領域を脅かすグナース族を退ければ御身の助力をいただけますかほうほう小さき者どもが同胞たる竹だけしい竜たちですら、well. 幾度も翼を折られ地に落ちているというに。You guys aren't warrior of light, so you know, just saying. We kill a lot of primal before. アルフィノの言う通り行くしかないのね新たな戦いの目を積んでおくためにも That's just how it is. And then we still have the whale on the Abala Abala Time Spire So we have to deal with those soon Obviously Because we are a primal slayer. Okay. Ooh. Once more, a primal rears its head, and once more, the task of slaying it falls to you. Would that I too possess the echo? Yeah, right. By the fury, must we now defeat the primal that we might treat with a worm? I do begin to see how you gain your reputation for surmounting the insurmountable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what we do. So, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Wait, we can talk to Dragon now, huh?